What's the reason that Veronica's been away? Business house cities, to say that. Where was I? Were in my apartment? Yeah, I was. Good. Oh, no, I'm all right. Okay. Um, but I'm gonna walk, change, change outfit. Oh, I grabbed my stuff. Hey, Hornby, how's it going? I hope you're doing all right. I still got this stuff. Should we still have this Halloween stuff? I don't know what to do with it. I'm going to put it in here. Shouldn't have this taser. I'll hang on to these, though. Those are expired. I'll get rid of all this expired stuff at a later time. I already had a knife, so that's fine. Don't need that zone map. Uh, what else do I have? Binoculars, torch. Fire extinguisher. <clears throat> First aid. Medical bag. Notepad, I guess. And these have all expired. Uh, there's, there's these bandages left. I guess I can hang on to those. Licenses, ID, weapons license. Keep keep them on me. Um, have you seen the new guest star Twitch has now? New guest star Twitch has now. No, what's that? What's the guest star? Guest Star Beta is now available to everyone. A new streaming tool that reduces the effort and risk of bringing guests on your stream. Use it to collaborate with other streamers or turn on requests to recognize and reward your viewers with a little airtime. What? This sounds good. Your guests are, um, only need a browser to join uh, are re reportable for their actions. They are reportable if they do bad actions um, and you can remove whenever you want to so begin simple setup process click the guest star quick action in your stream manager once you connect a guest star to your streaming software you can go live with a guest in just a few clicks no idea reading it now yeah that sounds good Import guest slots as browser sources in OBS. Oh, you have them as a browser source. Post up to five guests at a time. Is it when they're streaming? Or can it be anyone? That's pretty cool. Invite your community to guest star. You can invite people on. Guests can join easily from a web browser. Any phone verified Twitch user can be a guest as well. A microphone is required. Camera is optional. That is a good move by Twitch. I have to say that is actually a really good move. You can play games together easily without being in the same room. And like stream, stream as groups. Doing a certain activity. That's pretty cool. Show you know, guest video and audio before they go live on stream. Authenticate and vet Twitch users before inviting. Report and remove malicious users. Keep your guests accountable and avoid channel penalties. Backstage activity will be recorded. Twitch may record sound and video to review for safety. Ooh. 
Interesting. What does that mean? Backstage activity will be recorded. What does that mean? That sound that's a bit sounds a little bit dodgy. Does that mean they record you even if you mute? I haven't got a stage. They can't get backstage here. What are they on about? <laughs> got it. I understand. Select camera microphone. Check, check your camera microphone now. This is how guests will see and hear you. I can't. Can I not do it when I'm streaming? I guess I can't do it when I'm streaming. This might mess up my webcam. I'm about to use my microphone. Let's do that. Snap camera it should use. Nothing's appearing though. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go out of this. I'm gonna close that. No. Gotta ha head out, I'm in city. Alright, no worries. Catch you in a bit. Maybe. See you later. Right. I need to get in the right head mode. Um, what have we got? Can I set radio here? running about too much so said if he gets in quite an active pursuit or whatever just to take it easy for a little bit and obviously come back at any point uh, for checkups and whatnot. Okay, perfect. Thanks for the feedback. Worries. Look at you with your whole crew on. Yeah, I'm not alone anymore. Neither am I, brother. You've got a friend it. too. No! I've got a friend! I'm here. Bye-bye. Bye, guy. Hello you, how are you? Hello, how's it going? It's going good, thanks. How about you? Yeah, doing all right. Amazing. I feel like I haven't seen you in ages, even though it probably hasn't been that long. I know you've been about, yes. we've just missed each other. Oh, I've been out of city quite a while. Anything exciting or not? No, just private business. About. <laughs> Hopefully, I haven't forgotten everything. I'm sure I'll be fine. Um, I haven't forgotten my sound effects. There we go. Good. Did you? Um, Hello, Grandpa. Sorry. Hello there. No, I did not. I see it again. Hello right. there. It's busy working, grinding, Ricky. I'm not here. What? Instead of howdy, I say hello there. Why do I do that? Howdy. How's it going? Did you get to my documents? Yes, if Madeline Holmes does any of the deliveries here. Oh, I can help. He's grinding on me. What's going? What are you doing? He's grinding on me. Uh, just, just a bit of this. I that, is a bit. Anna, could you want to stand in the middle? I stand in the way. Here we go. Oh God, oh, where yes. am I? You take a grind from Ricky for me. That, that is a powerful friend. I suppose so. Oh. The, the, the problem is, I don't know if I'd want to mess with this one because she has some big heels. They, yes, they look she like doesn't. Spiky. No, she doesn't, Ricky. We, we don't know they're there. I haven't noticed them. <laughs> they're not there. What are you talking about? I'm just Yeah, what are you talking about, Ricky? <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're, they're, I thought they were steel toe capped heels. They're, they're safe, aren't they? I mean, we're not steel really meant to wear capped. heels, to be honest, Ricky. <laughs> yeah, but they got steel toe caps in. <laughs> I know, but imagine. 
imagine the heel breaks or something like that, then you're fucked. <laughs> and you go sliding no, down the mountain. They're, they're, they're metal heels. They're, they're designed to be safe. Safe in the worst place. Designed to be safe. <laughs> I'm not sure heels are fully safe in any circumstances. There's better grip. Well, all I'm going to say is I don't wear heels, so I can't call it really, but... I reckon you do, Ricky. Don't, don't tell anyone about that incident, right? No Keep promises. Between us. No promises. I have so many people see. I love it. I could just fuck some people's lives up if I wanted to. Not that oh. I ever would, you know, because I'm such a lovely character. Oh, do it. <laughs> I mean, you're just one of them, Ricky. He's waiting. Bloody hell, I've got a phone call. Bear with <laughs> just me. Just do it. Do it already. All right, Veronica, so I'll let just, you do I'll that. I've just got a phone call. <laughs> There we go. Let's, let's put some plasters Hello, on this. Sir. Okay. Oh. There we go. Just wrap that up. <laughs> All good. <laughs> How's your day going? Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Yes. Just trying to um, try and sort out getting some materials for my bloody business. All right. I have nothing, nothing left in my stocks. What, what kind good. of materials are you looking for? Uh, a bit of everything, really. L let's just say I spend. <coughs> oh, I think someone just got murdered. Hang on, what the hell just happened? What? Fight night. Fight night. What's someone out here just got hit or something? Yeah, I'm, sh I'm sure that a car literally just went flying up here, and with that, it looked like someone got hit and they just went wee flying up the road, but I can't see anyone, so maybe no. Oh. It looked like either someone flying out over a windscreen or someone <laughs> was literally crossing the road and went wham! Maybe, maybe they just, maybe they landed in a swimming pool or something on the top of a building. Well, that that would be quite a hit. I think they probably would have died of that hit rather than the landing. <laughs> well, maybe. Well, I haven't got any calls yet about it. <laughs> yet. Yet. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, yeah. So essentially, I can spend anything between sixty and like two hundred k on materials at a go. All right. All right. So yeah, uh, a lot, a lot. Well, yeah, I'll keep an eye out for any materials. Essentially, it's anything from rubber, plastic, metal scrap, glass, <coughs> and copper, alley, steel, and cloth. All right. Those are the things I need for the garage, and yeah, uh, I haven't done an, an uh, a stock take yet, but it, it, it's it's going to be a lot. It's going to end up costing me a fair bit again. Oh, God. Right, rubber and steel. All right. Aluminium. I'm just jotting it so, down. Yeah, yeah. Rubber, plastic, metal scrap, glass, <coughs> iron, copper, alley, steel, and cloth. All right, I'll keep an eye out. Yeah, we might have some leftover materials from when we're doing... Doing my job here, there might be some odd equipment. Yeah, well, anything. Usually, usually I buy it off Roger's um, scrap salvage. That's because oh, um, right. those boys tend to have all the stock I need. So, is she? Yeah. Is she? Is she talking to her clipboard to you? Uh, yeah, by the looks of it. Should we tackle it? See if that helps. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, it looked like yeah, that worked. That worked. Yes. Yeah, that definitely worked. Remember that for next time. <laughs> Where did doubt tackle your boss? All right. Always yes. Works. Yes. If she's doing anything weird, weird or strange, just tackle to the ground. Yeah, flat out. No hesitation. You hesitate, <laughs> you're dead. 
Right, yeah, it's an emergency situation. Yeah, exactly. It's it's your life or hers. You know, you, you gotta you gotta take action. <laughs> she she could Fucking die Fucking hell. Do you know how many people I've been having queuing up to talk to me? It's like I'm, I'm important or something. It's amazing. It's as, it's as if you're the boss or something. It's literally as if I'm the boss. I've had like a long meeting with Mackay. Hornby wants to talk to me. You want to talk to me. Oh, look at me go. I know. So. All right, I, don't, right. I don't want to talk to you. Does Bye. That, does that help? Oh. Does that help a bit? No, Veronica, you're the only one I want no, to talk all, to. No, all right. <laughs> okay, I'll go then. <laughs> Bye. Like Ricky, <laughs> get your little bum back here. You like my little bone, though, don't you? Just it's so petite. It's like just like a, a finger, a fingerful. A fingerful. Yeah, <laughs> not a handful. A fingerful. Oh. You're saying I'm not a handful. No, you are a handful. Your ass oh, right. is okay. not. Oh, okay, I'll take that as a compliment. I think. Sure. Why not? Um, right. So, I asked in that meeting. Uh, about the whole volunteering for you guys, and they said to come and ask you. <laughs> right. So, I mean, I have, you. I'm down for it, but I was kind of waiting for them to get back to me on that of how the fuck I do it. <laughs> but I've just had no reply for like a month, so <laughs> they just closed yeah, my ticket well. actually. So, uh, yes, I've had that. Um, hmm, it's a good one. Um, new news, new news. Um, because the th yeah, it, the thing is, you can volunteer, but technicality of being able to do actual things, you'd need to be hired. If that makes sense. Yes, yes. Well, I'm just gonna grab a newspaper. Okay. Uh, Take the FTV if you want, Monica. That's all right. It's just a newspaper stand down the road. There's just a newspaper stand on the, down the road. As soon as I leave the building, it all kicks off. Oh, do I need a hundred dollars on me? What? Oh, what? I need a hundred dollars to put in the machine. I need a hundred dollars from the machine. Do I need to, should I have some more cash on me? Yeah, let's just get like 200 out just in case I need some more cash. Okay. Whichever way that would work out. Uh, Is that Ricky's car? Okay. seat and uh, push the right pedals. I mean, I'm the, putting myself in that bracket as well, to be fair. <clears throat> uh, no um, I mean, what it will probably be is, if you want to just do heli, that's completely fine, because the vehicles, as soon as you're paramedic, which is pretty much when you're mainly like working by yourself anyway, that's when Tases you can drive the two vehicles returned. with the first response in the ambulance, so vehicle driving is not too much of a Make problem. appeal for firearms um, return. So if you want to just be ambulance, uh, uh, helicopter... Because <laughs> no one goes them back after um, the event. But it probably would need to give you like basic first aid <coughs> training as well, uh, yeah, just well, so I that you're able to during the alien down, attack. So I know basic stuff is just the best way you guys know how to do it. That's that's what I would need to know. Yeah, yeah, that's completely fine. Do you have a criminal record, Ricky? You do, don't you? Uh, that's it originated from a power yes. dimension known uh, as the upside down. It was a stupid thing when I don't know if it's still on attacking or not, everything. The whole I think it all stays. It's part of Sunday uh, evening, sort of police which, resorting to civilian. You know, Arming civilians in response to the alien invasion. Anyway. Um, 
uh, and I might have been done for speed in the other evening, which I thought was a load of bullshit, but oh well. That that's prickle for you. I mean oh, sorry, and I meant literally prickle, not Oh prickle. my fucking god. Did you hear what happened with um Ali Steven and that lot yesterday? No. No. Ten months and a seven grand fine for speeding. What? <coughs> oh, it's a I did a vage then. Fine. Yeah, a fucking massive ass fine in ten months. They'd have the same amount for a fucking bank they did the other week. Fucking hell. And it was the same person that you just said. Prickle. I mean, yeah. pickle. Yeah, because we we evaded, which I mean, only the driver did. Um, and then the driver decided to. It was an accidental nudge of Andrew's, but then. Kind of ran him over, and then that's when the oh, shots were okay. fired. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Back to the back to the main story. Um, yeah, so I'm more than happy to do that. I have like a volunteer ambulance basis. Um, and what we can do would get you in Just the email. Pillbox in hour, two seconds, but... uh, we'll get you in the email system as well. Um, so then, and have your role as like a helicopter driver or a pilot or something. Yeah. Um. And then if EMS staff, if they bump into you or you bump into them, because some of them, not Veronica, I'm not talking about Veronica, but some of them are, need a little bit of help reminding them about things. Um, like if you bump into any EMS staff that you don't have their number, try and trade numbers so they can call you if they need to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because obviously you work down at Otto's, don't you? Yep. Uh, so you won't be able to have both the jobs going at once. So it'll have oh, to be a okay. case of be kind of... Um, Switching. Yeah, like you, fucking, what's the word? on call or something so they can just yes, give you a ring yes, and yes, you come yes, on in yes, yes. um so yeah it would just be the helicopter training which pd are helping me with like coming up that's, with it um that's my number. and they're doing kind of oh, also, there you go. Oh, look at Franca, on it um and they're kind of just doing a better job of being a trainer than me like they're all writing sops i haven't fucking written a single sop about anything and they've all just <laughs> written one about every single part of the fucking city of how to fly a helicopter in it um <laughs> I haven't done any of that shit. So oh, they're currently you. working on that. Um, and then I'm going to do some training with them so I roughly... So I actually know how to drive a helicopter better than I do currently. Because um, <laughs> let's face it, I just pulled it out of my ass and that's the only way I can fly a helicopter is I just risk it for a biscuit. Well, obviously with my ex-pilot um, training, like I could always help you out with uh, some sort of SOP for the helicopters if you want. Yeah, we could definitely get you certified as an FTO if you wanted to. No I mean, one's if really you don't getting have trained. Any as... SOPs, we can't go wrong. <laughs> That's literally my point. I just <laughs> literally all my training with my cadets. I roughly know what I need to do with them. Then I pull it out my ass, <laughs> and that's how it happens. Veronica, your fucking training pulled right out of my asshole. I'm pretty sure you were the first cadet I trained. Um, right. That's my chief. I'm pretty sure you were. I think you were. Just pulled it out of my ass, and it didn't go too bad. So that's my method. But um, I do keep, keep getting told that I need to do some SOPs, so I probably should. Um, <laughs> all right. But luckily, the old chiefs have left have left all the SOPs for me to use. But that's oh, like that's a good. thirty. It's a thirty page document, and I'm like, I've been here for quite a while. I ain't even <coughs> read a single page of that. So I'm going to try and condense uh, it down because yeah, I don't think it, anyone wants to read thirty it. pages. Exactly. Like no one wants to read thirty fucking pages in their damn time. Like they've um, got a cut. Put a plaster on it. One bullet point. Done. Don't kill anyone on purpose. <laughs> Done. Um, pretty much like my training. My training plans, they're just bullet points of don't let anyone die. That's just the information. It's great. Um, so, yeah. I guess it'll be like that. And then once we've got FOT training done, because I'm not training anyone FT FTO at the moment until I've got the SOPs done and until I'm completely happy with what we're doing. Um, and obviously I need Kiki's approval, but Kiki hasn't really been about, which is fair enough, and she's going away for a little bit. Um, so I'll probably just email her, and she'll probably just be like, yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So once I've actually completed, I've established what I'm doing at each role, but I just need to write the SOPs, um, cool. and then sort out the helicopter SOPs, um, yeah, well, and then we'll be starting FTO training with people. So if you're up for doing helicopter training, then you're more than welcome to. It just might be a, a little bit while, a little bit away. Yeah, well, like I said, obviously, if you want a hand with the whole helicopter SOP, like um, what people will need to do and all that, obviously, if someone's able to put me through what is needed, and then I can go through and pass that information on, you know, I'm happy, happy to help if that's the case. Go ahead, PD. 
Yeah. Can I have you um, at the Fleeker Bank on Great Ocean Highway, please, for a hostage? Yeah, are you alright to pop in uh, 911E with the location, please? Yeah, 10 for no worries, we'll do that now. Thank you. Veronica, are you alright running to that one? Yeah, I'll go. I'm not running. <laughs> I'll let you take, I'll go. You take the SUV. I won't really <laughs> Right, I'll let you know. SUV, uh, what was it? Bingo. Get that, uh, power street one, don't worry. Oh, big bank, and respond. Is that the right one? I see blips now. Can't see the blips. No, my blip's gone again. I haven't got my number on the roof, but I can't remember how you do that. That, <laughs> that pad just drove into a wall, the local did. It has turned into a wall. Oh, don't turn into me. to go weird there but like the handling's weird on this car still getting used to it I hope I don't... Hey, How's it going? Veronica. Yeah. How's it going? You alright? Yeah, I'm alright. Um, right. They did mention one name. Oh, okay. What was the name? Um, Mr. C. Mr. C. Alright. Inside the, inside the bank, they mentioned it as referring inside, to somebody else? Inside the car. Um, oh, okay. On the way out. I just heard them say Mr. C. I mean, it could be Mr. ABC. I, I, I don't know. All I know is they sent me to see. All right. Um, um, Veronica, the, if you could have mind... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, all three guys in the bank have got stuff on as well because they were passing stuff between each other. All right. Got you. Um, well, if you want to ride with Veronica... Veronica, if you want to give yeah, me a follow, yeah, yeah. It, it appears that there is a jewelry robbery going on, so now I've got to go pick up that hostage and if we can get them checked out. So if yeah. you just follow me and I'll be first on scene and if you wait in your car... Yeah. And then we'll make sure that hostage is fine as well. Okay. No worries. Right. <laughs> Thank all you. Right. I, I've got blip problems. Oh, all right. Let's go. Well, we go in um, uh, jewelry now. Yeah, do you know where that is? Mm, I keep forgetting where the jewelry store I is. Can, I, can, I can direct you if you need me to. Yeah, that would be helpful. Thank you. Okay, you want to go back down towards the city? I mean, you might be able to mark it on my GPS, I don't know. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll have a little look. Uh, you might have to take yours off. Alright, no, let's just follow. Okay. I was going to say, you're going to be looking for um, postcode 697. Alright. 
I need to do some practice runs going to jewelry stores and banks. Yeah, it's all right. It's not far from the um the the courthouse. Ah, right. That's handy. Good to know. <laughs> You okay in the back there? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Do you need a lift anywhere after this? Um, I was just at Bean. All right. I'll need to get. I think I need to get some food from there when we when we get yeah, there. Yeah, no worries. them going. It was a fast car then, but I don't know if that was them. I yeah, I wouldn't go too far in. Yeah, they go. Yeah, that was that must have been them. They were very fast. Yeah, I didn't Around. Hello? Hello, sir, you alright? Hello, yeah, I'm, oh, I'm, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm Veronica Vines, just... You okay? You're shooken up or anything? You're, you're not hurt? No, I'm not hurt. Um, I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm all good, to be honest. Oh, that's good. Bit, uh... you, you're right for food and fluids? Yeah, I'm all good at the moment. Thank you very much. All right. Do you need to speak to the uh, police officer, or have they spoken to you already? Uh, they just told me to come to you. All right. Hopefully that's. I'll go back up to them. If... That's everything. Do you need a lift anywhere? Is that? Oh no, my friend's coming to get me. All right. All right. Thank All you. Right, anyway. What was your name, sir? Ollie. Ollie. All right. Oh, oh yeah. you're the Ollie that owns best beds. I am. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All oh, right. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Might need to de-stress. <laughs> yeah, we've got plenty of stock in there at the moment, so uh, go ahead and buy some if you feel like it. Yeah, I might do that. You can't, Ricky. <laughs> Is that Ricky? Is that, <laughs> that's Ricky again. This is shit wagon. What are you doing, Ricky? <laughs> I'll get in. It's a shit wagon in here, Rick. <laughs> Sorry, say that again. Uh, well, Said it's your shit, it's your shit wagon. What shit? The fact that this is going to outrun your shitty little car of yours. I'm happy with my shitty little car. I just helped out to the jewelry store as well, but everything's okay. If you need anything, let me know and I can come and bring you all some food. What was that, sorry? I just helped out to the jewelry store as well, but everything's right, okay. Yeah. All right. The Thank you. Stuff. Yep, we're all good. All I'm good. gonna go and uh, clean up all the scenes. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, sure taking, I'm babysitting and cleaning everything. What is your name? Uh, my name is James. It's Jesse James. Jesse James. All right. Sorry, I was coming through yep. at the start really weirdly. Right. Did so, you yep. you've jumped Jesse, out of the jewelry store? Oh, jewelry store. Yeah. Sorry. Say say again. <laughs> it might be coming through really weirdly. Did you say you've hopped out of the jewelry store, or there's there's a hostage there as well? Uh, there was there was a hostage here, but it's all sorted now. Well done. Take it easy, James. Right. Let's. Uh... Little touch up. They were a bit rough driving there, and they got banged about in the boot a bit. <laughs> all right. Uh, where is it? Right. Let's just do. Sticky plaster and wrap. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, amazing. Thank you. 
Right. You want to lift the bean machine? Uh, yeah, please, if you don't mind. Where is it? Oh, I can grab you some food as well whilst you're there. Yeah, that'd be great. Anything in particular you want? Uh, you still do the spiced lattes? Yes. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've still got one here. I'm thinking about changing them up for, for the winter, though. I'm thinking about doing, like, maybe, like, a vanilla latte. All instead right. Instead of the pumpkin spice. Oh, I like the pumpkin. It reminds me of my birthday. It's Halloween's my <laughs> birthday, so... Oh, is it? That's awesome. Mine's coming up in a couple of weeks. Go ahead, Beauty. Beauty notifications will flood in some of the shores area. No, no, we haven't. I've got an injured suspect up here. Uh, are you able to come up? Location. Yeah, yeah, just hand the location and then I'll be there in a jiffy. So you want the pumpkin spice latte? Did you, did you want anything to eat? Uh... Maybe, yeah. That's right, I keep getting... Oh, no, I got a notification now. I might have to be back in a minute. Just head him back to pillbox, um, and then I'll be on my way there, uh, Hornby. Yeah. Right. Has your helicopter got night vision thermals? Uh, it might uh, do, could I get but two chicken I've never tested out why I think it's your one, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Dark. I was just wondering if you could take her on the camera on it. Did you want them in a little bag or did you want them um, just, just as they are? Uh, just as they are, that's alright. You can always bring it up there and if you guys know how to work it, then one of you jump in with me. Um, well, sorry, but we have one. Okay. Sorry, I got a lot of radio chatter. Go back to my chat. You're okay. MS not received any notifications? No. I don't know if Hornby can hear me or what. Do you think I should card for on? Can I switch to channel 2 and see if he's there? Uh, card. Ronna, could you want to switch to channel 2 with us? I'm going to take the Maybe. fastest response to get there quickly. Um, and then it's going to be available to bring an ambulance okay. up if we need it. If we swap to channel 2, alright? Okay. Channel 2. Uh, what's the quickest way to do that is like this. Back in the town? Uh, we're coming through the next day just now to try and help you while we're refueling. I've got to go I just don't want to wait, I'm on. just going to head back to Pillbox no, and lock yeah, okay, you doors so that they can't, um, if they do wake up there, they can't get out for you, okay? And if Veronica, when you head back there, while you're waiting for a call from me, if you can just keep an eye on ICU for me, just in case they wake up there. All right. Yeah, Heading back now. <laughs> you got any eyes on it? The car is not bad, wasn't it? Are we sure he fell out? There's a door that landed. If the door's next to you, then that's where the... Is the door on the freeway or in the... It was on the road, but now that's Right, gone. no, no, so the, the guy came out behind the door. <coughs> Possible head pop, maybe? The door landed where I am now. Lock the door to it <coughs> to make sure he doesn't get out. You just call it and uh, let him get medical if he needs it. Yeah, yeah. What's he wearing just so we can keep an eye out for him? <coughs> I'm wearing all black. <coughs> uh, my... We're all the black. Name, I'm guessing not. Yep. 
Okay, yeah, one's going to RTB to refuel, then join the chase on me. So four, go and rejoin the chase now. But just let you know, someone from the neighborhood, what? Oh, go. <clears throat> okay, we're all good to join back to our normal radio, if you want, Veronica. All right. How did she change hers so fast? Did I do that right? Should I uh, unlock the doors to this now? We'll keep them locked because he could have head popped and then wake up there. Um, All right. And then obviously just keep an eye out. We'll probably hear screaming when they're in there and can't get out. <laughs> Wearing all black, so if we have anyone coming in wearing all black, or that's injured that looks suspicious, then um, just let me know. I'm looking radio okay. PD if we need to. Yep. Okay. I can't do radio while I'm looking at my phone, I just realised. Stay up here for a minute just in case they do wake up here, but I'll probably be heading back shortly. Auntie Musker and the perv. <laughs> Neighbourhood watch update, Sandy Shores, main road not safe. <laughs> That's clever. Can I, can I do, is it peak? No, not peel. Peak. <laughs> I love that one. It's really like... <laughs> this peak's way too much. It doesn't just do like a little peak and then back. It's like really creepy peaking. So <laughs> I think that is one of my favourite emotes, but I never get to use it. Oh, wrong call. Hello, Madeline. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Um, you're... Uh, sorry, uh, uh, give me a moment. All right. <laughs> yes, all right, Keith. All right, Keith. Uh, Veronica, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, thank, uh, thank you for contacting me. I'm going to send you a little text. All right. All right. Okay. It's probably better via text. This. Uh, all right. <laughs> that was so dodgy. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is going on? Is there actually anyone in? Uh, no one here, no. Oh, okay. We lost someone fucking driving off a fucking bridge. <laughs> All right. No worries. Um, that man was by, by the back here. Somebody in all in black came running to see if there was anyone in the ICU. He's run off again. Someone coming in wearing black, sorry, Monica. Yes, yes. Came running to the ICU and then ran off. Do you jump on PD Radio 1 and just let them know? Um, and let them know where you last saw him, okay? Alright. <clears throat> uh... One's there, one's up. Go for Pitbox 1. Uh, another decamp. Decamping camp in again. Pitbox 5 approved. 10-4. Information for PD, there was a man in black came running into the pillbox. Any idea what, oh, they're decamping on the bike, aren't they? Okay. I lost some fires on the bike. 
Last person got out. Last person's out. I don't know if they heard me. They're concentrating on a race. Oh, no, not a race. A chase. He's in construction. Construction. He's going to be going on to the part of freeway. Where is he? Hello, you alright? Hello, where is he? He came running in, he's run off. Can we have uh, someone stay on the uh, um, he was, main entrance? He was dressed all in black, in grey. He was looking to see if someone had turned up here. He came uh, running right up to the ICU here, and it's locked so he couldn't go in. And then he ran off. Okay. If someone turns up and I see you, let me know. Alright, I'll keep an eye out. Cool. Thank you. Here, one is back in the sky. Where do you want us? Um, South on Carson. Just let me know there is possible one more decamp. Another suspect came. Home be scared. If anyone had arrived at ICU. The black. Uh. Must be a quicker way to do the radio change. All right, Hornby just came here to check it. Okay. Oh, I did just get a message. Oh, um, that's my other message. Sorry about that. A colleague of mine, Keith Simber, is acting very strangely. He keeps thinking that Jeffy Kelly, Jeffy Kelly, another close friend of ours, um, who has not been around for many months, is talking to him. Now he's r racing around like a maniac in, a t in his taxi. <clears throat> um, what shall I say? Range. What can I divulge? I can't. He has had an episode like this before, I believe. Drove his car. That's. That's. Client information, I shouldn't say that. <clears throat> but I can say that, I think. Strange, he's had an episode like this before, I believe. I <laughs> just got to my text. Oh, there you are. Right. Yes. Uh, what do you think? I don't know what to do. Me, I don't know if he's going to be a danger to other people or himself. No, I'm not sure. I mean, you should probably inform the police if he's driving around like a maniac, but... Yes, I, I, I'm, I'm a bit worried, you see, because he already doesn't trust me, and if he thinks that I've called the police on him, I'm a bit worried what he might do. He seems <clears throat> unhinged. Right. Um, come through a moment. I need to keep an eye on the ICU for the police. Oh, no problem. Oh dear, I hope, I hope it's not, I hope it's not been a terrible accident. Who's there? Somebody's in the uh, intensive care unit, are they? No, somebody, some, we're waiting to see if somebody will turn up here. I think there oh were some dear. issues. Well, you're, you're, you're expecting a, a casualty, are you? Perhaps. Oh dear. Yes, but, so what is going on with this Keith then? He well, was in an I accident really a while he... back. Yes, I, I heard that he, he's been acting very strangely lately. Gabriel told me that he drove him off off the pier, tried to kill him. All sorts. Off the pier? I haven't heard of that one. That's a new one to me. Yes, very strange. <coughs> and also, um, I don't know if he's had some kind of mental break. He keeps talking about Jeffy talking to him. and He said, he said oh, look, Jeffy just called me. He's down at Holmes Made Pizza. But the, on a pizzeria I used to own. And we went down there, there was nobody there, and he was talking to thin air, as if it was Jeffy right in front of him. Yeah, that's not right. I mean, when Very he... Very strange. He spoke to me briefly in the, in, in the reception area about a, 
he said he had a head wound or some sort of he has yes yeah i wonder apparently, if apparently he um had an attack yeah, there was an attack on him i think he said outside um eugene's at the irish pub um i don't oh, know right. who, who attacked him but um he's got a terrible scar down the back of his head and it there uh, it's still very sore and I, I think that's why he stopped dyeing his hair because the the hair dye seems to sting his, sting his scalp right well, i know i can't divulge any information about a, a patient about his scans and things but he was released all fine so <clears throat> perhaps he needs he to needs come to, in I'm... for further scans or something quite possibly i mean i've asked him to go and sit and i sort of urged him to see a therapist but he he said he's seen penny peahen and that she's had she's bad as a fucking <laughs> march hare oh right no i haven't seen her yet for a while hmm no. i mean there is another therapist apparently uh, i mean well, i know who she is it's more right? but her methods are a bit questionable she's a, a complete scatterbrain to be honest right Yes, maybe. Uh, I mean, if, he, if she's if he, around, if he, maybe is it... book an appointment with her. I don't know. Yes, I mean, I, I, I'll try and urge him to, but I, I think it might be something that needs to be compulsory. Yes. Hello there. Hello, you two. You all right? All right. Yes, all right. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. You've been behaving yourself. No, Just yeah, always. Yeah, no, always. You seem to have got a bit of a bruise to your face there, Isla. Oh, well, you know, <laughs> my driving. <laughs> oh, it's your driving, is it? Crikey. Yes, probably. <laughs> Not again. Oh, dear. It's a good job I had a race harness on, let's just say that. I was just telling uh, Veronica here that Keith Simba, I don't think you're familiar with Keith, aren't you? Where's the, Sorry, yeah. awful, where's the awful leopard print pants? Yeah. Um, he's been acting very, very strangely. He was talking to people... Uh, Imaginary people. Right. When was this? Is this tonight? Um, yes. Only maybe oh, 20 God. minutes ago. I saw it with my, oh, okay. my, my own eyes. Okay. I know this happened a little while ago, and then he's all right for a little bit. Um, I'll try I don't know if I've got his number anymore. I mean, I've urged him yeah. to see a therapist, but um, he, he refuses, and he said that he's tried he's tried all sorts. I think, I think he's having these lapses in memory as well. Oh, God. Okay. Um, okay. Well, we'll keep an eye out for him. Unfortunately, there's nothing we, we can't, like, force treatment, and we don't really have the services to <gasps> buy too much of it. Um, all we can do, really, is give him an MRI, see if maybe there's some sort of um, brain bleed or anything like yes. that. Yes, um, that, that would be useful. I mean, he's got a terrible scar. Abilities. He's got an awful scar down the back of his head. Oh, okay. Oh, goodness knows what he's been up to. Yeah, that's um, God only knows. Yeah, um... I'm seeing on Twitter something about there's some sort of wrestling match. Yes! Oh my key. God! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> yes, what? I heard about that. I, I, I hope they're going to be safe. Because if Keith's in there and he's got a... a mental problem going on then i'm a bit worried for their safety oh what an os is it oscar says yes got to my trainer and press officer on team oscar and the perv yes jimmy Who's... the perv i don't know where he's got oh, this oh, jimmy, this yeah. um nickname from he's a <laughs> very lovely chap <laughs> oh goodness knows anymore yeah, he seemed quite nice when i saw him strange mm. he's very cultured as well <laughs> I guess we can keep an eye on I mean, the I don't want tweets. To. I think I think if this wrestling match goes ahead, Keith must be kept on the close watch. Yeah, maybe they will need uh, kind of fitnesses to be even allowed to do it. But I mean, it's, just, it's not exactly um, good people that are running it. People that are what's the word? It's no trustworthy and all that. Well, questionable people are running it. Well, yes. Bloody cool, bear with me. Mr. Hooks. Is there sock? Yeah, I said it was. Oh dear, there. well, I better get going. Uh, I'm a bit concerned. Right. If, you, if, if he injures himself or comes in, maybe you can have a word with him. Trying to.
Yeah, therapist. Yeah, so uh, I'll, I'll do try that MRI, and, I think. Yeah, I'll do another MRI scan and make sure that injury on the back of his head isn't what to bleed into the brain or something. Exactly. I mean, I don't think or I should pressure be on the brain, or maybe. I I don't I I don't want to get the police involved, but um, maybe they should be. I don't know. <sighs> if it doesn't get worse and he just wanders around, no police will need to be involved. I don't think. Well, I hope not. I'm just worried about what he what he might be capable of. Yes. It's all right. Well, thanks very much, Miss Vines. Right. You take care, Madeline. Yes, you too. I'll have to send you a invoice for another order. Oh yes, of course. Yes, um, no problem yeah, at all. Nearly run out. All right. Well, just let me know when you're ready. All right. All right. Um, do I need to still stay here? I guess so. <clears throat> I got Keith's number. What's for me out there? Professional play, but oh my god, look at this. <laughs> With a dance as well. 1,000 per service. Need the sexiest man in the city on your arm? Want to impress your boss? Give me a call. <laughs> That's brilliant. I really like that. got a suspect down in the storm drains. He was flung off a bike, uh, a motorbike in an accident. If somebody attend, we're uh, just securing the scene at the moment. Becky, can you pop in a slash 911E please and then we'll come and wait nearby and then if you let us know when it's safe to attend. Uh, yep, 10-4. Thank you. Did you say it was one or two patients? Uh, it's just one down. Amazing. Yeah, we'll come and wait nearby. Thank you. Hello. Ah, hello, Tony. How's it going? Good. All right. You're you're ready for the day. Sorry, I'm just keeping guard on this door at the moment. That might be around uh, for a everyone's bit. free. Do you want to come out the front and we'll work out what the fuck we're doing? I might have to go in my head for one moment, like a minute. No worries. Um, you can always jump in the vehicle if you want, and then would you be ready by the time we get there? Uh, yes, most probably. Shall I unlock the ICU? talking constantly down my ear hole on the phone that I had to hang up on. Did she say it was in the sewers or is it above? So I'm just looking the at where the... storm drain, I think they said. Is it in the... Oh, bloody hell. Okay. What we'll do is we'll take... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> we'll take an ambulance and a fast response, but only take the ambulance in to the storm drain. So what we'll do is I'll set up... Does everyone know how to get into the storm drains? Not, not uh, really. Not really. <laughs> okay, actually, we'll just all go in the same vehicle then. We're good for you guys to move in. All right. Amazing. One of you jump in the front, one of you in the back. I will hope that there's only one by the time we get there. Uh, good training one. Are you in the back there, Tony? Yeah. Yeah, I'm in the back. Okay, we're all right. Belt up. I'll be in my head for a moment. Down in right, the storm drain, so I don't know if it's easier for you guys to drop down behind pillbox and cross over. Whereabouts uh, are your guys' car? Are they going to be blocking the way if we come in from that way? Uh, no. There's no way. Yeah. 
So with the storm drains, they're an absolute pain in the ass because um, they're just windy. Have you guys been in the storm drains before? Uh, I believe I went with you one, the one day and we couldn't find the person in there. Sounds about right, yeah. Okay, I'm going to try and go down here because I'm being lazy. And hopefully we don't flip. That's, that's not how you usually do it. Uh, that's how we did it. And then basically there's, sh there's entrances all along here. So we've got one here that we'll be able to go in and... And they're so, so windy. Um, and just, it's hard to see on the map and... Oh, for fuck's, for fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I think I could train you guys how to do this, because... I can't even work out to get into them. I think there should be another entrance along here somewhere? Wrong button. There we go. I hope there should. If not, I know there's one back the other way. Over here, across the way. All right. Oh, you can go across that. Yeah, oh, that's, that's what I was doing the whole time. My plan that all along. That's the plan, game. yeah. Of course it was. Oh, I thought you meant your underground. Sorry. I just completely ignored the, the blue lights. Awesome. Sorry about that. I thought you were underground. Sorry. It's me being blind. Um, which one of you want to take this one? Uh, Veronica, take, take it if she wants. Alright. Hey. Hello, sir. Right. Veronica's going to look after you. Alright, let's just check you over. <coughs> let's have a look at what's going on. Um, where is it? There. Right. Can anyone tell me what happened to him? How did he end up in this state? Fell off his bike. Oh yeah, I can see the blood along the legs here. He, he went flying. He he was up there on the bridge. Oh, Even right up there. Oh my god. Let me just check this. Right. Go ahead. I'm just going to wrap these uh, up tight. I'm not sure about the, the bleeding. Let's wrap those up. Oh, there might be a bit of blood coming out here. Oh dear, no, there's definitely some blood there. Let's just wrap that up there. Uh, no, he was looking for someone. Uh, might have to so get you back to pillbox and uh, check there's no breaks in these legs. Alright, I'll see you in a minute. Bye. Right. Alright. you got any food? Oh, yeah, I should do. I'm going to starve. Yeah, I'm going to go back to pillbox and get, make sure there's no breaks in these legs. Right. Did he s just fall all the way or did he slide some of the way? It's very grazed here. I only have a few bits, so Sorry, I have to go with this like one thing. Thank you. It's alrighty. Oh, that might be dislocated knee or something here. Let me just pop that back. Oh, there we go. Now that was crisp, Franca. <laughs> Sounds painful. Yep, there we go. Right, should we take him back and get this scanned? Yeah, I would do. Just be on the safe side. All right. Are you guys escorting us back? Okay. Yeah. Oh. I've done this in a while. There we go. We're going to get escorted back, so um, once you jump in, Veronica, I'll give you the keys and you can drive. Alright. Okay, if you jump and drive, see? Sorry, Tony. <laughs> oh no, Tony's in the back again. I'm gonna get stuck with them. Awesome. So yeah, follow Hornby. It's usually you've got a car in front and behind, um, but yeah, turn around and follow them, I guess. It's quite nice when you get an escort because you don't have to worry about um, knowing the way back to Pillbox. <laughs> yes. Which if you're anything like me, you always know.
Uh, if you want, just bump into Hornby if he's going too slow. <laughs> just give him a little nudge to tell him to hurry the fuck up. Alright. They usually either go way too slow or way too quick there. I know it sometimes delays and you can actually nudge them by mistake, so... Oh, they just suddenly break like that, which is really great. Yes. I mean, if they do that in front of us, they're just asking me to hit. Especially when they're on a little bike. Let me go and make sure it's... You got it? Oh, you got them, Tony. Awesome. So just wait a second, Tony. So they're just going to make sure it's clear. Um, and then they'll come back out and let us know when it's ready. And we'll take them up towards sea. <coughs> Was ICU locked? It should be. It's unlocked now. The locks sometimes mess about. Same thing. Sometimes they're just non-existent. Oh yeah. Oh, right, I'm, I don't know. If, I've had to just be playing some, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give you some for a chew, okay? Where did he go? Or would see. Was he gone? Was he gone for X-rays? No. Oh. I got him in the one of the. I got him in the room over there. This one over here. Uh, the one over here. All good. Yeah, I got him in the room. Wait, just wait, was waiting for the officers to come back here. <laughs> if they have a day, let me get an officer for you. Um. Yeah, right, that I just check these legs off again. Just double checking, Veronica. You would have actually have to become a paramedic, not me. I'll go give them a nudge though. I think there's one right. just down the hall from us. I don't think this is broken. It was definitely dislocated, but not broken. Hmm. Should we take him for x-rays or what? Have a look, see what you think. It doesn't look broken to me. Oh God! Do we know his name? No, oh God! Check any records. You okay? Yeah, it doesn't look like it's broken. All right. I'll just get these all bandaged up then. remember before you get them back on the feet you need to let um know. yeah all right i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna put lots of bandage on this one just my my dad it's quite a long one bloody hell this is where all our resources are going bloody hell this has a bit like a big roll of duct, duct, duct tape are you sure you're not choosing that oh there we go I blame you just wrap it around his mouth. Right round. He can't talk. And um, just tie off the just... end there. All right. I think that's good. I'm going to see if he can stand up. Matt, can I uncuff him? Matt, can I get... Sure. One sec.
Try again. Right, there you go. All right, let's see if we can get up. There we oh. go. Let's see how it feels. Where the fuck am I? We're in the hospital. Uh, my name is Veronica Vines. Um, we've just patched up your legs. They are very bruised and battered. You had a dislocated knee, which I've popped back in place. It might be achy for quite a while. Perhaps take some painkillers for that. But otherwise, we've bandaged you all up. Um, you may want to uh, adjust those bandages a bit, maybe. I'm not sure. It's quite a lot. It's at least a roll and a half of duct tape. So you I, might I, have a leg fall off. I can't, yeah. I can't look at him. He's wearing a... He's wearing something I can't... I can't be that near him right now. It's alright. If you need to, you huh? can have to step out. It's fine. Alright. What's he wearing? Do I lock the door? If you direct an attorney, if you can afford an attorney, one provide for you, don't sign rights for just for two. Yeah, yeah lock. Thank you, guys. I should have oh, I should have noticed that sooner. So I just take my jump off. I wish I'd noticed that sooner. I would have got Tony to do it, but it's all right. Slow. <laughs> I don't know what I could do. What am I? I've got a. Oh, I've got a gro <laughs> growl. I forgot. What sound effects I've got. Awesome, guys. Well done. <laughs> you ravenous. Yes. Made me feel a bit weak doing that. What's in your sandwich? Chicken, bacon, baguette. Oh, very yum, nice. Yum. And the best ones. See, I'm an Uwu gal. What the fuck was that, Veronica? I don't know. Veronica? Might be my belly growling, I don't know. So, Veronica, <laughs> um, after last time you were on shift, I went to look at the stocks of blood. Um, they've dramatically <laughs> gone down again. Same happened after I checked after your last shift. Oh, that's Did not you, good. Do you know why this is? No, I don't know why that idea? is. No. No, okay. Well, do we need to do a, a, a blood drive? Maybe get some more blood? We might do. We might do. We'll have to keep an eye on those stocks because they are dramatically going down after your shift. No one else's. <laughs> just your shift. I just, just mine. Sure, right. you know, yeah, I'll keep an eye just, on you that. Know, yeah. Just make sure you're not using it unnecessarily and things, you know. All right. Oh, amazing. A little deep from that. That was awesome. The only thing we could have done differently is I'd say could have brought him back a little bit quicker. So... Obviously, we worked out how to dislocate a neon seat. 
we could have kind of stabilized that so maybe put it in a leg splint and brought them back and done it here just especially with the criminals and things like that we do want to try and get them off that scene quickly as possible because um otherwise people can come in and intervene and try and get the suspect and things like that whereas here oh, it's a right. lot more secure right. yeah um, and we can always give them a little bit of pain relief to help them if they are really complaining of that until we get back here. Um, and obviously it's a bit more sanitary, so if it was to go wrong and say a bone was poke out or something, it's not kind of in a sewer drain. Um, make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. I think apart from that yeah. though, it was all awesome. Um, I just need to do a tiny bit of paperwork. Um, two ten coming in earlier. Um, I'll just do that. I'll be a couple of minutes and then I'll be back, all right? All right. Um, so, all right. <clears throat> I'm just gonna go back, go down, run down to the clothing store to change the boots and gloves back real quick. Oh, all right. <laughs> uh, I want to see if I've got any other tasks. No. What else has gone on? What happened? Oscar the Twitcher, Spinny takes a break from training for the wrestling match by relieving himself in a phone box. Is that a criminal offence? Maybe, but an important part of the Twitcher's training regime. <laughs> Badger. I wish I'd known the said Badger on it earlier, because I can use that for pickle. Oscar Spinney's prize-winning Winky had yet again been stolen from Bee Machine. If you have any information, please let him know. Police crime number. Car Winky. Ugh. I could go over here and pretend to be getting a... To fending that one machine. I don't know if there is one. No. Music. <laughs> hmm. Going to have to cut out doing so many blood packs. I will have to find a bit more elsewhere, I believe. I might need to investigate the, uh, the bridge under the bridges. Yes, maybe under the bridges. Hmm. <laughs> right, let's throw this cup away. Have you seen that? Uh, oh, you're off. Have you seen I have that? To get something from the apartment real quick. Yeah, have you seen that tweet about the taser guns? I have not. Because uh, it's in the news actually as well. Just scroll down on the tweets. Right at the bottom. Uh, 
Yeah, I see that. Yeah, I've still got one. I'm going to need to give it back, I think. Well, uh, I, I kind of dumped mine in the bush and nothing All right. Same thing I do with all the, the little expired pills and uh, <coughs> medicine and stuff. I just put it in the bush over there. Let this nummy wash it over. All right. I'm going to go and get mine and maybe give it hand it in somewhere. Or should I hang on to it? Shouldn't really. The test on how honest people are. Um, where is it? Here it is. Let's just get that out and drop it on the floor. And all these, might as well. Just drop them. Now let's get some more out of this, the storage. Right, let's put those there. Oh. that anymore. Okay. Watch it creep. What's it's you fine. Why are you calling me creep? Strange. Money for cat food. You all right there? Yeah, I was just gonna go down to Oob for to get some food, but not for a little bit. I might be back in a little bit. All right. Just trying to put the car away. What was I about to do? Taser. I need to get some more bandages. That's what I need to do. Twenty. I didn't need twenty, but uh, eleven of those. Let's get nine. There we go, and one walking stick. Code. What, did it, what did it say? We were kindly asked that all tasers from this event are handed into the front desk of Bimo Police Department at postcode 592. Cockroaches. You alright, ma'am? He's gone off duty. Does he mean to? I don't know if he meant to. I only give one painkiller at a time, we'll take all at once. No morphine has adverse effects. John Power. 
Okay. Yes. Thank you for calling back. Well, my man sure loves a bustieri. Does Inspector Nickers sell those? Okay. Okay. And what about uh, restraints and handcuffs and all that good stuff? Y'all got that too? Oh, I should have had the PD. A sale online, you say? Okay. I'll log on when I get home. Don't Thank stand you, there. Boo. Don't st What? That was weird. Walk across the car park then. Or do I do it like that? No, weird. Oh, yeah, that's worked. Weird. That was weird. I pressed the sirens. What's going on? I hope that was, wasn't like... It's just gone really quiet. I'm going to go and see if there's anyone at the desk at the PD. Give them a taser. <laughs> I didn't touch that. Did not touch that. Hello there, anyone about? I guess next time I see the PD, I have to hand it to one of them. Seems like no one's here. Can't just leave it on the desk. They need to put like a deposit bin somewhere. Shit, what's all that gunfire? Jesus Christ. Are they doing it? Have they got a training range in that PD? They definitely have lip issues again. I think so. He said he was going to Uru, but... Oh! But maybe not. Maybe he's gone to sleep. I still have a uh, taser. 
from the other hey. leg. Do I need to hand into the PD? Oh, they meant to. I think my daughter in law still got hers. <laughs> All right. She probably are meant to hand them back, though. That would make sense. Oh, if you can, uh, remember to uh, what looking for? attend to things on the MTD. So when calls come in, respond. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, so where, how you like right muscle click to set waypoint if you also respond to it. Um, just then is a nice way of making sure that we know everything's been, nothing's been missed. If that All makes right. sense. That came out pretty yes. weirdly. You know, that makes sense. I'm just going to give Ricky a quick call. I had to be back, yes, in two minutes. All right. Can I go to that one? <clears throat> I don't know. So where is... I've got to remember where the thing is. Oh, cheers for the raid, wingers. How's it going? Hope you're doing all right. What? I'm going to do a, a shout out. My mod's not about. Um... Hope you're doing all right. There we go. Shout you out. You've been zapped. There you go. I can't believe you've done that, Sai. That's fucking Wings hilarious, room. mate. You're doing some GTA RP there. Nice. Absolutely love it. Love it, pal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you've, you've been here before, haven't you? How's the stream going? It's gone quiet now. You bastard. I shouldn't have said that because that's probably. Oh, why is that not working? That probably means it's going to get noisy now. Yeah, I'm here after being recommended by Duca, who's a big fan of your work. Oh, right, nice. Yeah, not. I should. I wish we were on Pickle. Pickle's fun, fun to play. I mean, this character's fun to play too, but differently. I know I'll always get something to do with this character, whereas Pickle's like an android and I have to like, he does investigations and I have to, it's a bit more work doing his stuff. <clears throat> yeah, I guess with like PD or EMS, you can just come on and, and wait for stuff to happen. Or well, you don't have to wait for stuff to happen, you could go around and check in on everyone if you wanted. Um, but yeah, this char this character's a vampire who works for EMS, so she's been stealing blood bags. And her boss there, the chief of the, poli the police station, the 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 chief of the of pillbox over there, like called her out on it a little bit, but she's just denied it. No. And then I was like, maybe maybe we should do a blood drive and. And get some more blood in here. <laughs> what else is going on? But yeah, did you have a good stream? Did you? Did, was a lot happening on yours? Um, there's some people like <clears throat> this guy Oscar is training up to, like, I don't know why peeing in a phone box is part of his training, but he's training.